Maybe I should redo the whole video and have this bush and just use it as like a gesturing thing, like, yas, and I am, I thought there was something on me then, but it's another little bit of bush. I was like, oh, not so brave now, are you? <laughs> Gary C. I am my own worst enemy. I am, I know I am. I know that I would never judge other people by the rules and harsh critique that I've placed on myself. And even as I'm saying it out loud, it sounds insane. It sounds warped that I would put myself through situations and feelings of just... It's like a masochistic, like, torturing... But at the same time, it's... It's like a way of life. It's almost mechanical, habitual. It's like a, ha a habit, a bad habit that I need to break because I can't go on like that. And there must be people out there watching this who are also thinking, yeah, a lot of the source of my anxiety, it comes from within. Now, whether it's from things that have happened to me in the past or whether it's anxiety about the future, it's that word failure again and putting pressure on myself. I remember as a kid, I had to be the best. I wasn't great at sport. I even got my mum to write notes for me, so I got out of doing it. So there you go, that is what it is. But I wanted to be the best at what I did. It's no wonder that one of the symptoms of my anxiety is scratching myself and scratching my legs. Now, I'm not gonna show you because I don't want you to see the marks and stuff but that's almost like I'm physically acting out. The anxiety manifests itself in this physical thing and instead of getting out there like I used to and I used to like, cause at one point I, I went abroad for seven, eight months and sang in a five star hotel and stuff like that when I was 23, I just auditioned and went. And now I can't think of me doing that. Like it was another person. It's like a lot of my life was another person. It's like now I've got a new set of rules for myself and it's almost like I've boxed myself into this is how it's gonna be for me now. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I think, like I know I'm stronger and you know you're stronger. That's the thing. When you're someone that suffers with anxiety and depression, there is somewhere underneath it all, there's there is a knowledge, like a little seed of strength and it's looking after that seed and letting it flourish and, and regrow. Most of the more successful people in life are risk takers because even the crow thing agrees to that. It's like, girl, I know that's right. <laughs> it's loving yourself. It's, it's knowing yourself and loving yourself. God, that bird is like, yes, yes queen, I know that's right, <laughs> yes. And I think that's the message to take away from this video. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's to listen out for crazy wild birds. Maybe my little mantra should be treat yourself as you would treat other people. And then I think there'd be a whole lot more compassion and kindness coming from me to me because as I said at the beginning of this video, I am my worst enemy and a lot of my issues and anxieties and that cage I've talked about before, that prison in my room that I've created myself, I've created myself. That's what I need to do. That's what we need to do. We need to, we need to love ourselves a lot more. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Mwah.